Colossians 4, 6, and it says, let your conversation be gracious and attractive so that you will have the right response for everyone. So Paul is finishing out this letter to the Colossians with a final encouragement and further instructions. And in those instructions, he's basically telling them that the way they should talk should be full of grace and wisdom and kindness to those who don't have the same faith as they do in Jesus. So what Paul is basically saying is that our conversation, the way we speak to those who don't have faith in Jesus, is actually an outreach tool. I know, right? So we can literally be a light to someone simply by the way we talk. So when we have those conversations with people who don't believe in Jesus, are we building them up? Are we tearing them down? Do we judge them harshly or do we love them deeply? Do we strive to win an argument? Are we seeking to build a bridge? Are we shouting the truth or are we kindly speaking? The last part of the verse is key. It says, so that you will have the right response for everyone. This doesn't mean we have to know everything. We don't have all the answers. Should we keep learning and growing? Absolutely. But sometimes a right response may just mean that we spoke to them with kindness and with grace. And I can promise you this, a grace-filled, I don't know response is far better than a prideful, I've got all the answers. And when our conversation is seasoned with wisdom and with grace and with kindness, the world will see that our Jesus is definitely worth following.